Crystal Reports does not have an option to draw a table on the report. Instead, you have to build one manually. One option to do that is to draw a box around all the fields and then draw individual lines between the fields and connect lines within the detail section across the page, basically making vertical lines. However, this can be a little tough based upon where the box is and how the different fields line up on the report. It's easier just to use individual lines and then connect them together and extend them to the bottom of the report. So what I'm going to do is actually build a table around these fields and see how easy it is by using the formatting options of the line object. I'm going to draw the top line first. And then I'll draw the bottom line. Now one interesting thing about the lines is there's another option to force them to be at the bottom of a section. For example, after you put the line on there, you can play around with it and try to tweak it so it gets exactly to the bottom of the section, but it can be tough to do when you have it snapping to the grid points. So one option I like to use is to right click on it, select Format Line, and I say Move to the bottom section when printing. Say OK. I'll do the same up here. Format Line. Move to bottom of section when printing. Say OK. So right now, even though it's kind of in the middle somewhere, when it prints the report, it's going to force this to be at the bottom of the section. Let's preview it. And now you notice it's actually moved much lower on the report because this is where the section divider is. Let's go back in design mode and I'm also going to draw some lines on here. Now this line's not even connecting but I can just go to the format line option say extend to the bottom of the section when printing Now let's add that same line across the page between each column. Now we preview it, we see we have a grid on the page and it's perfectly formatted where all the lines are connected and the corners are all matched up. 